Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we are into October now, and for me, the last quarter of every year is my natural evaluation time, <laughs> kind of auditing, evaluating what's worked, what hasn't worked, and where I want to set my trajectory for the next year. So with that in mind, today I'm sharing 10 things that I won't be purchasing in 2023. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and are interested in subjects like holistic clutter-free living, then be sure to click subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'm here every Tuesday. The first thing I won't be purchasing in 2023 is luggage. If you've been watching very long this year, then you know this year was pretty heavy on traveling for us. We did a lot of moving around all through summertime and even actually at the beginning of the year we went to Hawaii so we've had a lot of traveling happening and you probably noticed that I was using this soft-sided luggage that we've owned for many years. But right before our camping trip in Central Oregon, Mono sent us some really nice hard-sided luggage, which we've replaced all of our previous mismatched and really old luggage with. And to me, luggage is just something that you don't need to purchase that frequently, especially if you buy good luggage, it should last you a long time. Luggage is something that can really take up a lot of space and collect dust. So I'm really happy about this one because the carry-on can nest inside of the larger suitcase and the the fact that it's not cloth means that it shouldn't be collecting and absorbing dust. So if you're interested in luggage that looks like this, then I will be sure to leave a link for Monos down in the description. So far, so good. The second thing that we absolutely will not be purchasing in 2023 is home remodeling supplies. If you recall back in 2021, we had the big leak that led to replacing all of our floors. And in that process, we ended up also doing renovations to the kitchen since we were already in the midst of getting things done. So we replaced our countertops, we replaced the backsplash, which I did by hand. And then this year, you know, we have baby Chloe coming. So there was a whole renovation of the upstairs bedroom and incorporating a nursery and getting nursery furniture. And so we've just had a lot of renovations going on and updates and remodels going on over the past two years and it's enough. We don't need any more. I think that probably the only thing that we might potentially need in the coming years is a new washer and dryer but other than that I'm not going to be repainting the walls. We've already done that. No more patchwork nailing or hinges or like any kind of updates like that. At this point I feel like it's finally time for me just to settle and be happy with the way that things are and appreciate all of the remodeling and updates that we've done over the past two years without constantly feeling like I need to fix something else. The third thing that I'm not gonna be purchasing in 2023 is kitchen appliances and cookware. I finally got rid of all of my mismatched hodgepodge bottom scraped pans and you can see that in my most recent kitchen declutter video that I did in 2022. We now have our caraway pan set. I've mentioned them a lot because I'm really enjoying the nonstick without the Teflon. So I intend to just maintain and enjoy these five pots and pans that we have, no need for more. We have all of the kitchen appliances that we could need just in the Instant Pot, toaster, and blender. So the kitchen is done for 2023. I know it can be really easy to see the fancy new kitchen gadget or you know the pretty new set of pans that are just glistening and shining at you especially around Black Friday and you know Christmas season. I would way prefer to have four or five really good pots and pans and a couple of appliances that I use regularly than to just fill up all of my space with extra stuff. The fourth thing I will not be purchasing in 2023 is liquid laundry detergent. And that also includes the pods laundry detergent, but especially the liquid, I find it gets so messy, it gets everywhere and the jugs are just ginormous. It's just ridiculous how big they are. I started trying out, I think at the end of 2021, the True Earth laundry strips. And when I ran out, I did go back to the liquid laundry detergent for a period of time just because it's convenient. It was at the local grocery store. But honestly, after just one round of going back to the liquid laundry detergent, I was missing the strips. I went ahead and set up a subscription for the laundry strips. They're eco-friendly. They take up way less space. It's a no-brainer. The fifth thing I will not be purchasing in 2023 is hair equipment. We have more hair equipment than I even realized and a lot of it's because some things were gifted to my 16 year old over the years that she still holds on to. I was actually playing the other day with one of her automatic curling devices. I did recently have to upgrade my flat iron 
And if this one lasts as long as the previous one did, we should be good on that for a while. And when I was researching which direction I wanted to go with this new straightening iron, I started looking at, you know, oh, all the new hair dryers that they have now, and they're like 200 to $500, and all of the different specialty type brushes and styling brushes and blow dry brushes, and just there was so much stuff. And I, you know, I was like staring at it for a long time, and I finally decided, you know what? All I really need is a hair dryer, which I already have, and a straightening iron. So I got that and I am good for 2023. The sixth thing that I won't be purchasing in 2023 is lamps. Lamps is something that I've struggled with over the years because we live in Portland, Oregon. And so like half of the year is overcast and just gray and really low lighting. And that can be challenging. It can make me feel like I'm just low energy all the time. And so Every single year, as soon as winter months start to come, I start thinking about how we can brighten things up inside to make it feel more like summertime. But right now, I think that we have the perfect number of lamps. I need to just accept that I can't replace the sun and the lamps that we have and the bulbs that we have are as good as I'm gonna be able to do in the area that we live. So in 2021, we ended up bringing the two bedside sconces in and I installed those into the wall. Those have been wonderful, especially for evening times. And then with our recent nursery updates, we ended up swapping around some lamps and replacing the floor lamps that were in the living room that were starting to finally break and fall apart. So. We have new lamps, we have new bulbs, we're good with what we have. Number seven is pillows. And I can't remember if it was the beginning of 2022 or the end of 2021 where I was really having a lot of back pain and I was really struggling with my pillow purchases because a pillow was less expensive than ordering a new mattress, which we did eventually end up doing and it was so worth it. But the pillows, I finally found some feather pillows that were the consistency that I actually wanted my feather pillows to be. I've been searching for years for something that would fulfill this need for me. And I finally found two pillows that work perfectly. And you know what I say, I'm not going through the Goldilocks thing. When you find something that works, you hold on to it and you stick with it. So that's exactly what I'm doing and no more pillows will be purchased. I just looked it up and it looks like I purchased these two pillows in February of this year. We've been sleeping on them for long enough for me to know that this definitely works for me and that I don't need any more pillows. So I'll be sure to link these down in the description if you happen to be looking for a feather pillow. I have no affiliation with this company other than the fact that I enjoy sleeping on their pillows. February was also when we replaced our bed and mattress with a bed that has rising and repositioning and the mattress that is just so much more comfortable than what I've been sleeping on for the past decade. But along with that, we had to get new duvet covers, new sheets because we moved up to a king size bed from a queen. So we bought our second set of the Ivello duvet cover with the matching pillowcases as well as the Carrie Aloha sheets. Again, when you find something that really works for you, you stick with it. Those are the same sheets and the exact same duvet cover that we had been using with our queen size bed. So we've now had two different sizes of experience with both of those companies and I don't foresee the need to buy any more bedding in 2023. Number nine is art supplies. And I looked it up the last time that I purchased art supplies was in 2020. I purchased some small canvases and some acrylic paints and paint brushes for me and my daughter to do some artwork because a lot of you know that I used to be an artist. Like I originally went to college on an art scholarship. And so sometimes I just get the need or the feeling to, to dabble. Well, I still have more than half of those mini canvases, still have the paint brushes, still have the set of paints. So for all of 2023, I do not need to purchase any more art supplies. And number 10 is rugs. And if you recall our updates that we recently had to do to the dining room because our chairs broke, we purchased new chairs, the new chairs that ended up scratching the floor. So we purchased a rug. It was just this whole big scenario. You can see it on our video about a full life reset where I share having to reset our dining room as one of the things. But essentially they ended up sending the wrong size rug and then the right size rug twice and we ended up with all these rugs. So we have an extra that we were able to move into our living room and we were able to move the smaller one that was in our living room into our bedroom and the original rug that we wanted in the dining room. And then of course we had the nursery update where we ended up getting a round jute rug. And so we are good on rugs. I do not foresee myself buying rugs for a good many years, definitely not in 2023. It can be really easy, especially for those things that we tend to naturally veer toward 
to always want to look at what's new and to always want to see what else we can bring into our homes, I could very easily go look at all of the beautiful lamps that I could potentially upgrade into my home or fancy new hair equipment that I 100% don't need or new art supplies that look like they would be a lot of fun but would probably not get used for a couple of years like my previous ones. So for 2023, I'm making this commitment and challenging myself to not purchase any of these 10 things that I've deemed I have enough of and um, that I just don't feel like I really need any more of. So that's all for today. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I will chat with you here next week.